the, the, the first victory was even getting an invite to the race. The second victory, I guess, was we were, or what we were hoping for was to go top 10. For us to, because Gerald's been riding so well, for him to go in the breakaway with seven of those riders at the end, and we were the only pro continental team there, and then to come off Sagan's wheel like that and then and win the race, unbelievable. He was perfectly, perfectly positioned. He's so positive in his riding at the moment. But what this means for African cycling, we don't even know yet. It's off the charts. It's incredible. So what does this victory mean for African cycling? Well, every single person in world cycling today will know what this team is all about. They will know about Quebec, they will know what we race for, and they will know that there is a team from Africa that has riders from the African continent in it, and uh, and what this means for world cycling. And uh, it's very dark outside because uh, the race finished very, very late. Yes, yeah, it was an epic race. I mean, with the snow, with the, the, you know, the freezing cold riders, the zero degrees, the cancelling of the of of, uh, of one of the mountains because of the because the, 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 the mountain was snowed in, it was unbelievable. So for the next 25 years, 30 years, people will remember who won Milan San Remo 2013 because of the conditions and because it was Africa's first victory in a world tour.